Thanks, Army Potts, for letting us go now. We got a little anxious. We couldn't wait. So thank you. Thanks to, to Tom and everyone here at the Atlantic for hosting this event. Thanks to Gainesville for coming out to a show that started at 6 o'clock. That's, you know, uh, I was told that when I, so the first show that I ever attended in Gainesville was in uh, August of 92, and I was told that, dude, nothing happens before 11 o'clock. I was told this, and then I came to embrace it. So now I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we're here bucking that trend. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's amazing that Matt Walker or anyone wrote a book about anything that happened here. It's awesome that Matt did it. And it's, uh, I'm so excited. Buy the book. Buy the book. Buy the book, live the dream. That's it. I don't know. We talked about not playing. Live the book, buy the dream. I like that. We, we talked about just doing like a stand-up act instead of playing. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to play music. I just yeah. want to talk shit <laughs> all night. Can we do that? And we didn't actually practice. We just got together this and is, hung out. This is a real this experiment. Is it. This is it. This is, and if this you is have what, an, This is what practice is like. Yeah. But you guys weren't there. Because the practice room is like this big. I yeah. do want to point this out. Because those of you who have been friends with us or just attended anything we've ever done, I want to point this out because I think I realize this. This is pretty cool. I would like to welcome Kevin Scott's chin. This is his first, Kevin Scott's chin's first Strike Force Diablo show. It's kind of exciting. Never before, never before seen behind a drum kit. Uh, no, 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 let's do it. Let's do it.
thanks, everybody. Thank you, friends. And I don't use that term lightly. So many good friends here right now. It's fucking awesome. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. this is, uh, we're going to play an older song. Um, uh, this song was, I don't know, you know, you write songs for whatever reasons. They take on meaning after they happen, but sometimes a moment can encapsulate a lot of things. Uh, we've lost this this night and the book and everything is kind of a celebration of all of our cultures leading up to this point and, and beyond, which is fun. This this song is kind of for the people that we've kind of lost, that helped us get to this point that we lost along the way. And there's so many of them. One of them in particular was a really close friend of ours when we were active playing. So, I don't know, I know that somewhere in the ether, Travis is with us. He's here, he's, got our he's hands. totally here. He's got his hands around us. It was funny because he traveled with us a couple times and he was always baffled by, I think, almost everything we did. <laughs> just as people, but his raw enthusiasm just for everything that was happening around him and the people that he chose to surround him with. I feel like it was a celebration of his choices, and so this one's for him and anyone that knew him and anyone that has lost anyone in the last, along the way, that's important to them. I think the way to celebrate them is just thinking about them and knowing that when you're in a moment that they would appreciate, they're with you. So this one's for him and for everyone else. Right. Lift me up, lift me up. Three-seater, thrill-seeker, newcomer, crazy of a cabin.
again, everybody. Uh, you know, speaking of friends, really good people here tonight. And this next song, I'm going to dedicate to them. Because I love them. And two, because the song is kind of about them. Who are they? Who could it be in this room? Oh, and they are in this room. It's a mystery. It will remain a mystery. But it's all positive and all love. And all alcohol, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. Depending on how you look at it. No! 
lot. And we, pra we practiced that like transition thing. That was like, that was like a thing. Dude, I don't even know how that happened. That's nuts. We were like, we, if we Feel did it, if we did it, Feeling it, we would do that. Right we are proof that you only need to practice for like 20 minutes. Tops. Tops. That's all you need. But the jokes, it says you gotta hone the jokes. Yeah, hone your jokes. Um, the three of us, um, in the 90s, the three of us used to work at a bar called the Heart Bank. And it was awesome because so Drew and I somehow paid the bills and Kevin let people in or not. I chose to play a lot of bone thugs, but it was funny. The best part was a lot of things, but after we closed, we, we, we didn't know what to do. We had all this stuff that was garbage, but in our mind it was like sentimental. So we got a warehouse, because that's a good idea. You know when you have a bunch of garbage and you just want to hold on to it? That's what we did. Order like for a while. Anyway, so we got this warehouse with a bunch of garbage in it, and we practiced there for like a while, whatever. But told like junk, like like broken chairs. That's what we were saving, and like like uh, the slat of a pool table that was cut in half. Like that's the shit that we saved. It was like that, a cash register with all the keys missing. Anyway, every time we would, every time we would practice, we would be interrupted by. The delivery of the chip man. You can heckle him because this will go on oh, for a really ever. long time if you don't. Alright, right, fuck you guys. You get no story. Fuck it. No story. Right, well, you guys want to hear Matt's story go for real? Go. anymore. I lived it for like 10 years. And I have to say, there's a lot of good food in Gaines. There's like some good affordable food here. Can we agree with that? You guys ever eat Caribbean Spice? It's good, right? And it's cheap. And, uh, you know, I went in there the last time I was in town. I, didn't go, I haven't gone there yet, but oh, don't worry. I will. I will. <clears throat> um, but then we went in there, I kind of was like, oh man, I'm getting the lunch special. That's like the classic thing. No, oh, man, come on. Anyway, long story short, as I was ordering, I'm thinking, you know what I just should have ordered? I should have said, let me have 
some veggies in an encapsulated piece of bread, which I will then put in a variant other kind of bread, and then for dessert I will have oh, bread. bread. It's like, lunch. yeah. Well, they didn't, they didn't have gluten when I lived here. Somehow it's now a, it's a thing. Uh, I want to also say that, like, thanks for coming out. Uh, this night's going to get over pretty early. There's a dance night here if you want to dance your face off. There's also a show at Boca Fiesta with a bunch of amazing people. If you want to see more live music, please head over there. I want to give a, sh I want to give a shout out to, unfortunately, just the way timing worked out and this show happened, there's no ladies playing tonight. It's a giant bummer for all of us. So I want to give a big shout out to every woman that has ever created in Gainesville because you've made us more than what we are. Tonight at Boca, there's a lot of women performing. I really highly encourage you to go over there and check them out. I want to call out this song. We're not really close, but this, this person, like I said, I started going to shows and participating in the music community here in the early 90s. This person was super active before me and has been an inspiration the whole time I've lived here. And it's awesome that she is still there and being awesome as a human and creating. So this song's for Deb. You're awesome. We love you, Deb. You're an inspiration, whether you know it or not. And it's awesome to have you here. Fucking ripping guitar player, too, man. Absolutely. Ripping. Thanks to all the bands and everybody. You know. so much. Thank you to Tom Rankin and The Atlantic for hosting. Thanks again to Matt Walker for fucking writing a fucking book about our town, man. And about the cool shit that happens here. Hey, are you kidding me? This song is for the everyone that came before us. The Doldrums, Rush Motel, Motley Ticks, all the bands that came after us. Against me, UBTV, Posting. This is a set of to all the bands Angel 
Speaking of shit, that song goes out to uh, our president-elect. He's the fucking devil. And how do we fight the devil? Well, you don't go head on, dudes. You come around the side.